Hey, hey, dams and head, ladies and gentlemen, happy Thanksgiving. I want to say I haven't been on camera for a while, um, and uh, I just want to reach out. It is Thanksgiving, and I'm missing all my family, but yet still, we <laughs> life goes on. So happy Thanksgiving to all the Americans out there and all the um, other people who celebrate Thanksgiving. It is actually an American holiday and uh, as usual, um, I'm not there. And I would like to um, remember all the people. Please remember to give um, for this Thanksgiving. Remember the homeless people. There is more homeless people now in America because of the COVID virus and because of what has happening. A lot of people have lost their work. Remember the neighbors remember to even offer even a pie, even a sweet potato pie um, to your neighbor. Remember the homeless and all the people um, that is homeless at this moment. Please, if it's even a plate of food, I'm asking um, a lot of people, especially in the cold, um, cold areas in America, um, in Boston, Chicago, and uh, um, New York, up north, New York, Canada, um, everyone, please work together in order to give and, and, and choose one person, invite one person home for a meal for this Thanksgiving. It has not been... Um, um, a happy year for a lot of people. A lot of people, this has not been a happy year, but, um, you know, sometimes things have to happen for us to really back, um, step back and look at uh, the lay of the land. And I see that this COVID virus has uh, affected so many families, so many people. And I'm asking each and every one of you to remember, um, the other person. To pray for America so that America can come through the situation at this moment. Thanksgiving is a time that you gather together with family and you connect with your family. Um, ladies and gentlemen, heal the bloodline of your family. It is a Thanksgiving where you're going to be reconnecting with your family. Reconnect with your family in a very powerful way because that is how it is going to be helping you to elevate your own process moving forward i want to say to each and every person thank you so much um for supporting my channel um thank you if this is the first time um thank you for listening to this messages um ladies and gentlemen remember that i always donate to a um a church the apostolic church in um fort lauderdale florida um please remember to donate to them um, I will try and find the link to put on the this. They have their own PayPal. You can donate via PayPal. Um, please remember um, to support someone, a homeless person in this Thanksgiving. Please, I know that it is hard and a lot of people are saying, um, you know, it's hard. We have to look about her um her herselves first but it's all about thanksgiving is about sharing thanksgiving is about honoring and sharing so that we can all come through this horrible horrible um situation that is transpiring together on this planet ladies and gentlemen instead of going out and uh, protesting all you have to do is find 3200 people and uh, assign um, a disclaimer and send it into, um, the Congress. Okay. A lot of people have been, um, just uh, protesting, protesting, but in order for your voice to be heard, it's not always through protesting, but it's true. Um, getting 32 people and getting it signed by 32 people and name what it is that is happening and transpiring and send it into Congress. So, and uh, let uh, the government know what is uh, what it is you're going through, what it is you're feeling. It has been a sad time. I'm I'm back and I'm in Europe, but it is a sad time for America. Um, this is um one of the saddest time ever since 9/11. And I want to say to each and every one, do not give up fate. Yeah, do not give up fate as it is on the American dollar in God we will trust. Ladies and gentlemen, each American person, each American citizen, 
on that um, dollar is in God we will trust and we are going to be trusted in God in order for this situation to be resolved and in order for us uh, uh, as American citizen to move forward in a very positive way so that the rest of the world can see us moving forward and standing ground. Thanksgiving is about sharing and it's about opening your heart, opening your heart to someone, a homeless person, someone who you have driven past, uh, offer a cup of coffee, offer a donut. As you go to get breakfast in the morning and you're driving home and you see a homeless person on the road that you've always seen, buy a cup of coffee and a donut for that person so that that person will not go hungry. I'm asking a lot of you, I've been asking a lot of fast food caterers and I know that now it is even harder for you guys but I'm asking a lot of fast food caterers if uh, you can at least give uh, five homeless people a meal on Thanksgiving Day. At least five homeless people just a meal on Thanksgiving Day. Ladies and gentlemen, it has not been very easy for no one in this year. And if someone said, well, it was my best year, I would be happy to see that person. Um, so please remember um, you know, giving thanks is about sharing what you have. It's about uh, um, connecting with another person. It's about breaking bread with another person. And as you understand that what is happening, reach out to your mom, reach out to your father, reach out to a friend that you haven't spoken to in a very long time. Reach out to a sister or a brother or a family member that you have not spoken to in the last in in, the, in a long time, because these are the people that is going to be helping you to help you to elevate and um, um, push yourself further in a very, very positive direction. I want to say to each and every person, thank you for supporting my channel. Before I go, ladies and gentlemen, there is a really um, dishonest person out there that is trying to claim my channel, Katy Khan, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen. And uh, uh, this person has uh, um, copy my information via my computer. Um, it is a network of people. Um, as I was advising you people, do not, um, if someone is at home um, or someone comes home for um, Thanksgiving, don't give them um, your um, code, okay? There was a very dishonest um, man in Florida that um, came to my house and asked to go on my internet. They have um, dishonestly um, place something on my laptop and I've copied my information. This woman and this man is a criminal. So ladies and gentlemen, the only person that is here, Catacon ENC, it is my company that I built. It is registered in the Netherlands. So anyone in America that is trying to claim my company, you got to go through me. And I'm asking each and every person before you place an order, um, make sure that it is coming in to my email address, um, info at catacomb.nl because there's a disturbing, very disturbing person because this person is not seeing how sick and disturbing they are to be trying to claim something that is not yours. Listen to me, little girl or whoever you are. You need to, um, find something to do. Okay. Go educate yourself. Because maybe if you had educated yourself, you wouldn't be stealing and lying and using people information and acquiring so much money on the people name and is accessing with your little criminal um, boyfriend. I hope her husband, his, his wife, leave him for what he has done. It is the most this, this, um, dishonest thing. You need to find a way to help yourself because you're very, very disturbed. Okay. You're a disturbed person. So, ladies and gentlemen, I'm advising you that someone is trying and has been using um, my information, Catacon, in order to acquire money and has been using my information to access money and is taking a lot of money from my company. 
Um, it is a whole criminal network. That is the reason why I was there um, for two and a half years in Florida investigating the situation. So I'm advising each and every person out there. These people, it is a, a whole international criminal organization of these people. And this is the reason why they went after my eye. And that is only to show you that I did found out and I did know them. And I did connect the dots and the puzzle together. Listen to me. And I'm saying this. And this is Thanksgiving. And Thanksgiving is about a time that you celebrate with people. I am letting you know I know all of you. I'm not afraid and I'm not going to be afraid because we are all on this planet to understand who we are. And if you do not want to find and educate yourself and find something to do, Stop stealing other people in information via internet, putting spywares. And this is it, ladies and gentlemen. You have to realize, take your banking system off your telephone. Take your banking system off your telephone. You have to protect your computer more. And you need to stop going on these free Wi-Fi network because that is what is happening. Anyone who comes to your house know my um free my Wi-Fi is uh, locked down. Okay. There has been and I have found out and I place all of the thing there. Someone is using and pretending to be me and I is as, as, as if I found out through a corporation that uh, had advised me and alert me to what has been going on. I have returned to Europe and uh, my company I am and I built my company and I wrote my books on the Catacon ENC and I'm telling you whoever you are it is about time you either um, realize that I'm not backing down because it's my company and I'm telling you right now that you are in some serious problem because I am so not afraid of you people anymore you're a criminal I do not do it with criminals and all I'm saying to you is to release my name my child's name and my mother's name and stop using my mother's name in order to acquire wealth and financial stability and to you mister it is a sad situation you have two kids you should have been showing um respect and um, so that your kids can really grow up and have uh, some sort of a respect for you ladies and gentlemen there is becoming more criminal on this planet than normal people protect yourself especially in this christmas time because um there are a lot of people who just don't want to work and just want to run and feed off other people information and try to take other people information ladies and gentlemen i don't waste my time i sit and i create business so that it can help humanity now this young lady i don't know where she's from because she's illegal and she has been accessing and using my information where her um, boyfriend, some man that thinks that he's so cute not to work. And all he does, he goes around to hang out with people, get people information and sell information. And has been using my information because I'm back in Europe. And I'm saying this to you. My parents had one child and my parents make sure they had one child. Do you know why? Because they didn't want kids to be not able to be um, enough to take care of themselves okay so lady i don't know who you are but i'm telling you right now my mother has one child you have disrespect myself my mother and my child for a long time and i've been watching you and you come after my eyes again with you and your criminal um you need to leave the lady's husband okay this is no joke, and I'm seriously, seriously, you cross my part, the law is going to deal with you. So ladies and gentlemen, protect yourself from these people. If you find that people are, if you're doing any business at all, 
and you find that uh, you have to protect uh, your computer whatever you're doing with a third party um changing information you have to protect your computer because this is how they do they will send you a mail you open the mail and then they have a connection to your mail and they're seeing everything that is going on there is a group of criminal people um that is uh, ruining people's life um by copying their information and selling their information because what has happened and transpired they're copying people identity and selling it and when people find out it takes people years before they can bring this thing into balance okay and i'm saying this to a lot of you people because you like um to have all these have on your phones and they're all open and all your password and all that you gotta start being protecting yourself it is christmas it is coming up to thanksgiving it's coming up to black friday a lot of people have been saving and that sort of a thing a lot of people have been saying how they're losing it's because of these people that you're connecting to you don't know someone um you know and when a person said oh give me your phone don't give anyone your phone don't give me a phone let me put my number do not give anyone your phone let them put your number in take the paper on a piece of paper or let them tell you then you set it in there the time you give them your phone you turn around you're doing something else they're all um, getting information off your phone so that they can connect with your phone and your network and uh, they can be in your um your computer in your phone in your email as I would say to you, I advise a lot of you, stop putting your mail on your telephone because that's how your mail is being act. Okay, go and log in. Gmail is the best one. Go and log in your mail and stop keep putting your um, mail on your telephone because as someone access your telephone and send you a spyware, um, because these criminals are getting so... Um, really I, I'm, I'm telling you ladies and gentlemen there is more criminals around than normal people okay so i'm advising um you guys i was advised by a company that someone else was trying to use my information and what they did was to put a spyware on my computer send me a mail and through the mail they were having access to uh, my computer if you have to log in in different different ids log out of it log out of it okay so um if you log in to save things in the cloud log out of it because uh, as you leave your login this is where people are accessing your phones and your computer a lot of people have all of these apps and you're looking through and getting a lot of these message and at the same time they're stealing your identity okay and they're stealing your information a lot of people have been finding out that their identity has been stolen since the lockdown and um i, I think it's because of the lockdown a lot of people are realizing hey because people are like at home or people or um have no work so now they're really realizing what is happening and transpiring ladies and gentlemen i'm advising you at what has been going on and uh, um whoever this person is there's really some serious uh, um um some people are just losing their frequency and i would call that frequency but whoever this young lady is you need to uh, receive some help um young lady because listen i am not going to be billing my company and you and your criminal people because you people do not want to get up and work listen to me ever since i have my kid i have been working so lady Go educate yourself and find something to do and stop creating this history and, and problem for other people. I think you have this cause of disrespect my family enough, my child, my, my dead mother that you're using my dead mother information and is, uh, um, receiving a lot of money. I would say, you know, something is really wrong with you. You need to find some help. Okay. And I'm letting you know that I'm aware of what you and that married man has been doing and that other criminal man. And I'm not um, letting this run. People should know about the criminal offense that you people are doing. And people should know to protect themselves from you. So ladies and gentlemen, all you ladies that is 
always out there looking um, for love ladies love will find you when it's time for it to find you what you're doing is creating more karmas because you're opening up to these men these men are playboys and lover boys okay and they will try and play you and i'm i'm someone i see you from your coming in but that you know you 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 know someone is someone has invited themselves because how can i remember the remember Someone can invite themselves to your house and then ask to be on your network. And that's how they intercept your information and is going to give it to their side piece chick. Now that is, um, you're really off. So a lot of people, you got to be aware there's this criminal. Um, they're coming in a male and female sense. Um, you are um, out there looking for love. When it's time for love to find you, love will find you, ladies and gentlemen. Stop going looking for love. Whenever the time you will cross part with that person and that person will be and you will know that that is the one. I am advising a lot of you married women. Um, you know, life is full of surprises and, um, you know, a lot of married women, I know a lot of you are going through issues where um, you know, you're so disrespected by your partner, married women and men, because these men have uh, so disrespect you in so much ways, uh, how they are, um, you know, with other women and that sort of a thing. And it's really disrespecting you. And I will say to you, lady, if you have no kids or if your kids are older, take your kids and go. Chain state, chain city, what your husband's. Um, I've been doing. If they want to live a life of roaming the street, you should not have married um, to this woman and have kids. Okay. If you think that you cannot be with one person, do not get married, ladies and gentlemen, because you're blocking one person and you're disrespecting the other person. It's about loving yourself and empowering yourself, ladies. This is a time, especially in this Thanksgiving and in this Christmas, really think about where you're moving forward, what you're doing, how you're moving forward, because there is a lot and a lot of women that is out there looking for love. Trust me, learn to love yourself when you learn to love yourself and understand what is happening to you, then love will come in, okay? Okay. A whole lot of stuff is happening and transpiring and a whole lot of women are going to be realizing that they, their life has been a double life that they're living with their husband and their partners. And I will say to you, lady, if you are disrespect the door, your husband, because he has been having affairs and sleeping around, trust me, you are, um, you know, too good. Learn to love yourself and understand that this man is disrespecting you. And if it's also a woman, this woman is disrespecting you. So ladies and gentlemen, be aware. And I hope you enjoy the gifts that I've sent you guys out. I think that as, um, as you receive good, um, a lot, I, I, I was amazed when going through my list, um, you know, my clients and thank you so much. Um, this is why I, you know, I really do one on one with my clients. I don't have any ones who do my readings or anything like this. And I want to say, I want to thank you guys so much. And I try to get the gifts out before Thanksgiving Day. Maybe some of you will get it before Thanksgiving Day. Some of you will get them after Thanksgiving Day. And I want to say thank you so much um, for the support that you have supported my channel. But also thank you for reaching out every week, every month in order um, to support this channel. Please keep on sharing, sharing, sharing is good because other people are able to pick up um, these readings. It's all about Thanksgiving, but it's all about giving, but it's all about receiving also. You can't give, give, give all the time and don't receive. I have been supported by my subscribers and all of my members and i um want to say thank you so much i hope you enjoy um the small token of my appreciation um i want to say <laughs> thank you for really um this is going in um how much years since i'm doing this and uh, 
I am so grateful that I um, could um, coach so many people, session with so many people. I have met so much beautiful people um, in my in my career with this channel. And I want to say thank you so much for um, your support. And I want to say also that there is no one in the world by the name of Catacomb. So if anyone is trying to pull up that name and to pretend, uh, ladies and gentlemen, for some reason, someone has targeted myself and my family. And trust me, this little young lady is mentally unstable. Okay, that's the only thing, uh, only way I can see this. I am asking each and every person, be careful of who um, you open up your life to. I don't even know this person. I, you know, I think I knew two of the person because they're in a criminal network. They have been um, selling people information. And that was what I was uh, working on for two and a half years that I was investigation this thing and trying to figure out who is the big fish and who is at the top of this group. And because I started doing someone and uh, these people sell your information. I don't know if you guys know about the dark web. They do sell your information on the dark web. So I would say to you, use life lock for some of you. Okay. And um, protect your information, protect your identity. It's very important that you protect your identity and your children identity. And um, ladies and gentlemen, I can't stress this um, so much. Try and find a way to protect your identity because a lot of people, I have been receiving a lot of uh, information that people are saying that now they're finding out that um, people are calling them and random call and that sort of a thing. And what I really do not understand, and ladies and gentlemen, tax time is coming up. No one calls you from the tax company, okay? There is one company that don't call anyone and it's the tax company. So anyone called you and said they're calling from the tax company, hung the telephone up, okay? No one calls you from tax company. And the reason why is that there is uh, some reason there's a lot of people. So all these criminals that is calling you and said, oh, I'm ca nobody calls you from this tax company. Ladies and gentlemen, no one calls you from the tax company. So these are the sort of a criminal things that is going to be coming up. Anyone is going to be calling you, asking you about um, a credit card and this and this and that. Hang your telephone up. Hang it up. Hang it up. Okay, because these people need to find something to do. And I cannot understand that these services can't find out who these crooks are. Check your telephone, clear your telephone. It is very important to check and clear your telephone at least once every three months, ladies and gentlemen, because that's how people access your information. Stop leaving your hubs open, close your hubs. Um, there is a way of closing everything on your telephone um, so that people are not aware of uh, your hubs and your information. Ladies and gentlemen, we are having more criminals on this planet at this time than normal people. So be aware of this. So ladies and gentlemen, please be advised they're both men and women that is connecting with people and they're looking for people who they think are lonely or is looking for love. This is how they come through to you. They think you're either lonely or they could be uh, on your telephone finding out about dating sites that you're going um, to and they think that you're lonely or you have no family or no friends and that is how. And they always, always look for people who have clear good records. That is what they do, okay? So ladies and gentlemen, be aware if you don't have to travel, don't travel. Um, if uh, some of you have not seen your parents for um, a long time, please go and visit your parents. It is very important. This Thanksgiving is about uh, bringing closeness and healing families uh, and breaking the bonds uh, of what has been happening and transpiring. Forgive and forget uh, Forgive, you don't have to forget because I will forgive you, but I'm not forgetting because you're not going to be hurting me a second time, okay? That is uh, my new motto for 2020. I will forgive you. I'm not forgetting, but you're not going to be hurting me the second time. So ladies and gentlemen, you know, 
when you have to learn discernment i think between now and um the end of this year discernment you have to learn discernment you have to be uh, learning seeing who um discern the people that enters your life or the people that wants to connect with you it's about learning and discerning good from bad and understanding where you are and what is your frequency and who the people are that you need to, to take on your journey and the people that you think um i'm not going any further with you this is where i'm saying um an axe in the lord of karma it is a good time to call up on the lord of karma and ask the lord of karma to cut all blockages all um negative energies all erotic cords between you and people that you no longer wants to move forward with in your life now is the time um I, you know pr have a prize before um thanksgiving the night of before the night of thanksgiving and ask the Cut and release you from all the people that you no longer want to be on the journey with the karmatic journey and ask to remove them out of your life. I want to thank you so much, ladies and gentlemen, and please remember the homeless people. Um, you know, you never know when you yourself is going to become homeless. Um, so remember that and please um, make sure that you check your computers and your telephone because they are like a thieves in the night. You have to be aware of this. And women out there, there is a group of lover boy. They claims to be lover boy. Um, they are gamblers. Um, they have a lot of stories. They come with a lot of stories. Um, and you gotta be aware. Listen to people's story and find, um, the um uh, find the link that um is something is right okay um they will come and they will want to um you know connect with you and oh i'm sending you this app and you should connect on the this uh, hab and um we can talk underneath this app now listen to me the app is going to be stealing your information okay so be aware of what is transpiring i will also advise people who had to do anything um for yourself with um filling signing papers do it yourself do it yourself call a family member um um ask someone who you trust do it yourself ladies and gentlemen because whenever third party gets your information that's how identity theft is created is via third party people accessing your information um thanksgiving if anyone come to your house grace friends um, may I go on your Wi-Fi? No, because every phone, um, everyone has a phone and they have uh, their own, um, um, you know, they have their own GB, MB for the month. Don't put anyone on your Wi-Fi, ladies and gentlemen. It doesn't really matter who it is. You can, your kids can come home from school, give them a separate Wi-Fi, um, so that, um, they don't connect to the same memories on their phone can um affect you later that people um steal your information i do love you guys happy thanksgiving please remember to donate to the apostolic church in um oakland um fort lauderdale it's, it was between um west farm and fort lauderdale um oakland um there is the apostolic church what they do is that they feed the homeless they also have uh, um, a building upstairs if you're homeless um, they have rooms there that they can give you there's always food they have food for the homeless and um, their website has a PayPal I built the website for them so they have a PayPal where you can donate you can also drop off food if you're in the Fort Lauderdale um, area it is Oakland Oakland um, Fort Lauderdale um, um, Florida okay it is between um west farm beach and uh, fort lauderdale it's more in uh, to fort lauderdale i do love you guys remember give a homeless a cup of coffee and a donut uh, and uh, um you know if you are the manager of any fast food restaurants please ask your boss if you could give five homeless meal away on thanksgiving days i do love you namaste and i will speak to you at christmas